Hi all, right back to Fields of Fire, the Normandy campaign, mission 2, Cerise Offensive, this is my part 20, 20 parts, um, will this be, no this won't be the last one I don't think, uh, I think one more to go after this, maybe just the one, hopefully, well we're on turn 9 but we're halfway through turn 9 so yeah you never know, um, Right, well, I've just came straight back, so everyone's fresh in my mind. Um, I suppose anybody just starting the video, though, there's a little look at the situation. We've got two pending fire. We've got our mortar pending fire up there, way up there on that squad. And then we've got an artillery pending fire on the bunker there, just to kind of shut off some of the fire there. Um, we're kind of lacking in commands, not got an awful lot saved. The COHQ has one command saved, nobody else has anything else. So, um, um, oh yeah, no, uh, sorry, I'm thinking I'm starting a new turn. I'm not, we're halfway through. Right, calm down, man. Uh, so, yeah, there's my phase marker as a reminder. So, let's take that off and let's get a drum roll ready for the <laughs> enemy higher HQ event segment. Um, Okay, let's just draw it and see if we get it. This is turn nine's one. Oh, <laughs> it was a freshly shuffled deck, I noticed as well. Um, okay. So, enemy higher HQ events. Let's get them across here and see what's going to happen. Well, we know the dreaded nine and ten. We know what they do. Um, so, right, right. Here we go, out of a 10. Oh, it's a two. Right, so it's not a nine or a 10, anyway. Uh, two, what is two, what is two? Oh, we had that one before. Displace mortars, remove any on map mortars on cars with no US troops. Yeah, and at first I think I read it wrong. Certainly read it wrong compared to the thread that I found cause um, I was just looking at any kind of mortars on any cars, and if they're no US troops, then they're going to remove them. Uh, however, the thread I found was talking about German mortars, and I was like, oh, right, okay, maybe I've read that wrong. But, again, these, these events are a little brief, and hopefully there's a bit more information in the upcoming delu deluxe version of it, and... Um, it's a bit clearer as to what's what. However, if we look at any mortars right now, this is only mortar section. I mean, it doesn't include the mortar forward observer. I'm pretty sure about that because he's not a mortar by himself. Um, however, they've got US troops on the cars beside them. The Germans have no mortars, so we're just going to ignore that. So we're going to carry on. So we can breathe now. <laughs> Relax. Uh, well, we still do have one one more to go, turn 10, but... Um, right, so enemy activity check. Now, this could be interesting because... Yeah. Um, indeed. So... Yeah. Enemy firing at cards without valid targets just cease fire. Well, with none of that, and that's what I talked about, the fact that if we had moved this guy back, I think that would have been a case for them and they would have ceased fire... And then took away that situation where, at the moment, we're sitting at an engaged activity level, which for this last potential contact would be nice because it's only a five-card draw, so it might give us a slight chance. Um, but the enemy activity here could throw all that up in the air anyway, and uh, they could do something totally different. Okay, so what have we all got? Well, I think they're all up there on my, uh, the table that I had to build to get them on here, aren't they? There's nothing on the last row. This is all our stuff. Yeah. So we've got a squad. Yeah, there's a squad there that's unspotted. A squad there that's spotted. And then this squad and heavy machine gun under this bunker here that's spotted. Both of them are pen and fire mark. Missions marked for them. Um, that's that. So... Yeah, well, let's get the enemy checked. So there's no no pinned lats here. So it's it is defensive activity. We're not in a counter-attack here. And it was hasty, I want to say. So defensive and hasty. 
Yeah. Defensive and hasty. So I've got the table ready. Um, but we need to pick a card first. So one, two, and a three. Okay. I'm going to draw a card. And what have we got? A three. Right, that's the one with the bunker then. So, and there's two units on that card. So, let me just move things about a little bit first. I'll just do that like that. We can maybe zoom in there. Oops, I didn't want to press that. Right, hang on, what have I done? That's it, that's it. Yeah, I went to zoom in. We're still recording? Yeah. Uh, right, so we've got a squad and a heavy machine gun team. Uh, hang on. No, it's okay. I just panicked there because he's got grazing fire, isn't he? That was lucky then. Oh, hang on. No, no, no. It can't be. It can't be. Because they're not in the same elevation. It's just he's got grazing fire. And although this was the card that triggered them, his, his uh, placement, then he could actually fire through to this. Well, he actually can fire shoot this, but no, he's got to fire on this first. This is on a higher elevation, so I don't think... No, it definitely says they've got to be on the same elevation, isn't it? Um, seven, is it unreal seven? Yeah, grazing fire. Normally when firing on a PDF into an R card, the VOF is exerted in the closest occupied card along the PDF that is within line of sight. However, if a tripod mounted machine gun unit is firing at range, not at point blank, it exerts its VOF into every card along its PDF up to its maximum range as long as all the cards are at the same elevation. Or all uphill, all downhill. That bit I can't quite... Um, I can only think by that it means that this is on level 1, this is on level 2, this is on level 3. And that's it firing up the hill. Or vice versa, firing down the hill. But the fact this is on level 1, this is on level 1, and then this is on level 2, I don't think it can fire shoot into this card. So that was kind of a relief there. I just had a bit of a, a moment there. <laughs> um, okay. So, right, let's not worry about that then. So we've got two units on the card. None of them are lats or anything. And again, I'm going to randomise between the two. Um, so I'm going to say the squad's one and the heavy machine gun's two, and I'm going to draw a card. And we've got a two. So the heavy machine gun is going to be looked at first. So let's come down and look at the, uh, the chart. Okay, so this is defensive and we're hasty. So it's the middle column we're looking at. So on same cards as opposing unit? No. On same cards as opposing unit? No. A or H? Um, it's H, isn't it? <gasps> it's not. It's not on. It's not a heavy weapons grant. Ah! See, I've just automatically two because our our one's heavy weapons. It's not. It's automatic. Oh no, that's a disaster. Because I've done things based on that, haven't I? It's an A, it's, an, it's not heavy weapons. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right, hang on, leave it there in the now, because there's a few things this is going to affect. Well, the fire on this, to start with, I'm going to have to check on. But more importantly, the spotting attempt... We would not have been drawn as many cards. Ah. Right, hang on. We're just going to have to hold there just now. Um, when it comes back to that, in fact, because this might take a bit of time. 
That is the one that we're going to activate first. The heavy machine gun. Um, damn, that's silly, Grant. I know I, we've had a heavy machine gun, a German heavy machine gun out already, and it's automatic weapons. Why? I just automatically. It's just because it's called a heavy machine gun. Well, not just that. An hour one is like that. It's got an H. So, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they've all got to be like that, Grant. Uh, this could be a disaster. If we don't end up spotting him. Because we would have not been drawing that many cards. I want to say that we might have just got away with it, but... Uh, right, spotting. That's further on. It's in a strange place. It's under enemy, that spotting chart, I think. Yeah, well, I don't suppose that is a strange place because that's what you're trying to do. Okay, right, let's just put things on hold for a moment. So just looking back at this again, the first card draw we had, I'm going to have to go back and look at the video footage, of course, because I can't remember where we... I know the first five cards, we didn't get a result. However, that five cards would only been four. And then the following four cards that we drew would only be in three. So we would only be drawing seven. So as long as it was in the first seven cards. <gasps> I don't think it was. Was it? Because it wasn't in the first five. So it needed to be in the first two of the second attempt. Oh, man. So we had veteran plus one. We had higher elevation plus two. He was undercover. That took it back to plus one. That didn't apply, didn't apply, none of that applied. And then we gave ourselves a plus two when it should have been a plus one. So it should have been a plus two for both attempts. No, 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 stop, stop. We only had one veteran unit. So it was a plus two for the first attempt and on top of the two base draw cards. So it would have been four for the first one and three for the, yeah, it would have been. Because we had only the one veteran unit. So I need to go back and hope, just hope that we drew it within, uh, how many cards did I say? Four and three. No, hang on, I'm getting muddled up now. Yeah, we drew, we actually drew nine cards, but we should only have been drawing seven for both attempts. So it needs to be within the first seven. If it's one of the last two of the nine cards, then I've really messed up. Right, give me a second. Right, uh, okay, that was a relief then. <laughs> it was the first of the second set of cards, so um, I had drawn five, and then my next card, that I'd, for the next attempt, I was drawing another four, and it was the first card, so it was actually the sixth card in line. So that would have been fine for the second attempt. Fair enough, I've drawn some extra cards that I shouldn't have drawn, but this is more important that the result was still the same. So that was fine. Well, the only other thing is just the combat that happened to that unit in the last combat segment to see because it wouldn't have been minus three and I'm going to, I'm going to change that now, obviously, now that we know that the spotting attempt has been successful still. Um, so it's a minus, yeah. So it's, it's, it would be two points better off yeah, so... Well, I can't remember if he was as an assault team. I'll go and look. He's going to be plus... Two, I'm going to add plus two onto the result to see what that becomes then. Okay, well, that was lucky again. I'm sure some of you probably realised that um, he was getting... He was exposed. Uh, he wasn't pinned at the time. He was exposed. Uh, he was getting nothing for that. And he was getting a minus three, minus four, plus the minus two for exposed, which is minus six. So taking that... Minus three down to minus one, take some down to minus four, and minus four is the worst you can get anyway. So the result would have been the same. I didn't look at the card draw or what. Well, it was a paralyzed result, wasn't it? So fortunately, that was still the same. So, okay, we've got away with that one. Uh, I'll put a note in the header for that video once I've watched it back, because obviously I've just realized that there just now. Uh, right, so back to that. So the heavy machine gun team who's an automatic weapons grant. Let's have the tripod on that though. So he's an A with an arrow. 
So back looking here again, remember on Hasty Column. Not the same card, not the same card. He's an A with an arrow, but he's not out of ammo, so that's fine. He's not on, not under fire and no line of sight to an opposing unit. Well, he is under fire, so that doesn't apply. That doesn't apply. He's under fire, but not under cover. No, he's under fire, but under cover. So is he under fire from a different direction to its own PDF? Yes. Now, the problem here is he cannot shift. Am I showing you that? Not quite. Right, we're down to this one. So he wasn't under fire but not under cover. He is under fire from a different direction to its own PDF. So on the hasty column, we'd be rolling a five. But if we got a three and four result, we would not be able to shift to the direction of the incoming fire. So I think what we do is just draw here. Yeah, I'm not going to try and mess about with that one. I'm just going to draw a card. If we happen to draw a 3 or a 4 out of a 5, then I'm not going to be able to carry that out, and I'm going to have to just then draw again. And the reason I'm doing that, it does say that... Uh, where is it? Where is it? I said... Maybe not on this. Maybe it's in the... It does say that the, they will try and do something if it's in... Yeah, let me see if I can find that. Yeah, here it's in here. This is the enemy behaviour. So we're on page 66. I mean, it starts on page 65. 8.6.2 activity checks. It's within enemy behaviour. Um, And then... Well, this bit here is quite relevant. If a result is drawn in the enemy activity hierarchies, then that an enemy unit cannot legally perform and there are no alternatives listed for that result, then that enemy unit does nothing. If no rows on the hierarchy table describe the situation the enemy unit is in, uh, i.e. you get all the way at the bottom, then it does nothing. But we're not really in that situation. And this we note here is what I was talking about. It says, no, enemies will always take a valid action if one is available for the situation. Keep drawing until you get one or just draw ones between the legal actions. And the reason it's saying draw once for the legal action, that's what I was trying, I was going to try and do at first, because we are looking at under fire. Because none of these apply up top. This is the first one that applies. And out of the one, two, three, four actions, one, two, three of them it can do. And it and this is correct. It is under fire from a different direction, its own PDF. This one it can't do. Um so I mean, technically, I could draw on a three and get either one action. Uh, the thing is, it wanted a three or a four for that one. Yeah, but, Grant, if if you are just drawing... If, I, if the options are only going to be no action, which had one possibility, grenade attack or concentrate fire, which had one possibility and fall back, which had one possibility, then I'm just going to draw on a three, and that's going to be one, that's going to be two, and that's going to be three. That makes sense, doesn't it? Because if, if I draw on a five and I get a three or a four, it's not going to apply. I can't do it, because he's in a bunker. That's right, isn't it? And it's going to be the same for the squad if we come down to that one. Okay, so I'm going to draw on a three... And no action is going to be a 1. Grenade attack is going to be a 2. Fall back is going to be a 3. Okay? That's what I'm going to do. So here we go. On a 3. We're doing a 2. Oh, that's going to be the concentrate fire, isn't it? So 1, 2. Yeah, grenade attack or concentrate fire. Well, it can't grenade attack. So it is going to attempt concentrate fire. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, because fall back, he would have, he would have been off the map. And no action would have been, yeah. Okay, well, we've got the worst of the bunch. So, yeah, Concentrate Fire is wine quality. Um, so he's grown two cards for crosshairs. And, uh, yes, that'll be that. So two cards, Concentrate and Fire. And obviously this is on our pin paralyzed unit here. Um, there's no other options. There's not a random... Um, there's only the one unit that he's firing at, is what I'm trying to say. So we can't randomise and find something else. So here's two cards, 
Looking for crosshairs, he fails. Okay, well, that's just as good as no action then. So he does nothing, or he tried to do something, but he failed. So now the squad, um, he's probably similar. So for the squad, on the same card, on the same card, well, that one doesn't apply to him. He is under fire, so yeah, it's the same. It's going to be the same. Sorry, down here again. So I'm going to do the same because, again, he cannot switch shift fire. He can't shift his PDF to direction of incoming because he's in the bunker. So we'll do a one, I will draw on a three again and see what we get. Three, we get a three this time, so that, oh, that's going to be fallback, isn't it? So I said one was no action, two was grenade attack, and three was fallback. Yeah, and that was out of three, we got a three. Right, so, so the squad's going to fall back. Yeah, so it's going to fall back, so it's just going to come off the map. And then that's us left with just the heavy machine gun still in the bunker. I don't know what the reason it might have been for the squad going away and the other one not. Nah, you've got to check each unit, surely. I'm just, I was just starting to wonder, would they, you know, the fact that they're there together and it doesn't say it randomised between the two units, but it's a separate unit. Yeah, no. I think, yeah, I have to check them individually. So that squad goes back in the cup. Seems a lot odd that the heavy machine gun would stay around and the squad would go away, but... I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? And let's also hope that Grant's got it all right <laughs> he's thinking about how it's done. Um, right, so we've got two cards left now. <clears throat> With enemies. So this is a one, this is a two. Um, that's a two so it's going to be the squad that spotted here um, so let's see what he's going to do right, he's slightly different isn't he he's not getting fired upon Even we've got a pen and fire mission in there but nothing's firing at him so he's not in the same card no no he's not that he's not he's not under f yeah it's this one not under fire and no line of sight, that's not the case. He's not under fire, but has a valid target along the PDF, yes. And it's, yeah, although it seems slightly strange that we are, we do have a pending fire mission, but that, I think, under fire means that we've got a PDF on him and we've got some VOF on him. I think so, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's this one. So he's not under fire, but as a valid target. So on the hasty column, he's either going to have no action or he's going to try and do a uh, concentrate fire as well because he cannot do a grenade attack. So this is a straightforward on a two. So yeah, on a two we get a one. There's going to be no action on it. Yeah, so he's not going to do anything. That was not under fire, but as a valid target. Us. Yeah, that's. Yeah, sorry. If it was deliberate, it would be automatic a grenade attack. However, it's hasty. We rolled a one. It's no action. Okay. Right, and then the last one. Sorry, I should have paused there. Uh, is the spotted unspotted squad that's firing down here on this guy as well. So he's not getting fired at either because he's unspotted, obviously. So, no, 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 not under fire, but as a valid target along with PDF. Yeah. So he's going to do the same. He's going to do the same. So it's either no action or concentrate fire on a two. Uh, he gets a one as well. So that's no action as well. So, nah, they're not doing nothing. Okay, good. Right, so that's enemy activity. Nothing changed regarding PDFs, VOFs, apart from us fixing this one. <laughs> um, no. Uh, no, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, okay, so moving on. That was enemy activity. Capture sent, capture any paralyzed water teams. No. 
No, there's there's nothing. They've only got the three units that are, well, one yeah, well three now. They had four and one's away. Um, so there's nothing to capture. There's no enemy casualties. Retreat. Uh, unpinned paralyzed team. No, we've got a paralyzed team there, but it's it's pinned under VOF. We had the paralyzed team. That's gone as well. We upgraded that, rallied that back to a fire team. So none of that. Combat vehicle movement phase, no, right, remove existing income in, airstrike, and then flip pending markers. So this is going to flip, and this is going to flip, and then they cannot now see out that card. That is going to, well, actually, <laughs> yeah, if you're going to do it properly, that's what it says. It's got this in the rule book, so, so that stops can't fire out the card but fires along like that now again that's a pdf and a vof the pdf isn't required on that card the vof is only at firing on the card it's not that that upgrades uh, you know the small arms to minus one and him because he's firing on his card he's not firing at himself and um, the crossfire comes away as well Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, sorry. Uh, we should still have automatic weapons, though. Because that, that's automatic weapons coming down as well. So that does stay. But his automatic weapons, is he's firing on his own card now. And then the same with this guy. These PDFs come off. Because he can't fire out of that card. And that comes off. And that was obviously our plan to deal with that. Yeah, we're not going to get pinned recovery on that, though, because that's still firing down. Yeah, fair enough. That's okay. Right. So that's our incoming thing. So potential contacts. So where are we at then? With our, are we still engaged? I think we are. Well, yeah, in actual fact, that counts. These The incomings count as well, don't they? So we've got one, two, three cards that are under VOFs. Yeah. So we are engaged. We've not got a friendly and an enemy on the same card. So we're still engaged. So engaged. And the last card, last potential contact that's out there is an A. Uh, so that's a five card draw. And it's this one here. So the last chance for some enemy. Well, and before we, oops, I'll just zoom out there. Uh, we've got the enemy high HQ event in that way. So one, two, three, four, five. Right, so looking for contact. That's a no. 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 Okay. We get away with the last one then. Next one. So that should just make things comfortable to finish for us now, I would hope. Uh, yeah, I think, I think we're in control. I think we're in control. Um, ah, like I say, the, the, the last draw of the enemy high route each could be in. That could be the, the stumbling block. Um, so that potential contact, activity is still the same, engaged, we don't need to adjust that. Pinned recovery, uh, well no, this is pin, but there's a VOF on it, so, yeah. Needs to be not under VOF. Uh, nothing else. No, this is one of the ones with smoke. Uh, right, so combat. Uh, so do our guys first, because we've got an incoming on both of them. We do have this. This is the only one that's getting hit by us. Remember, this is just firing on its own card. So we've got this one to check. So this time he's a paralyzed team. Yeah, it's just got smoke well. Um So nothing on the cards. So it's a plus one, minus one for the fire. It's minus one for the automatic weapons, plus one because he's pinned. That is it. So he's on a zero. On a zero, we get a pin. So it's just staying as it is. It's not too bad. Could have been worse. Um, and that's that one done. And then now for both of them. Okay, so we'll do the mortar one first. 
So the mortar one's the one up the top there. Uh, this guy. So the mortar fires minus three, isn't it? Let's double check. Uh, yeah, minus three. So he's not under cover. Uh, oh yeah, we're calling him fire, so it's a small number we get. So he gets a plus one and a minus three. So he's at minus two. Minus two. Trying to, I'm trying to avoid stopping the thing and just zooming out a little bit. So a minus two. Uh, what have we got? A pin. <sighs> minus two pin. Yeah. Just kind of hoping for a hit with that one. However, he is pin. It's not the end of the world. Um. Yeah, okay. Right, and then over the other one now, and obviously that squad's away, so maybe that was the reason he went away. You can see the, see the incoming artillery. But I'm out of here. Leave you to it. Um, okay, but he's in a bunker. So it's a plus three for that, isn't it? So this is going to be a tough nut to crack. So plus one for the card. Oh, there's a minus one in this. There wasn't one in the last one. I'm just looking along now. So that's good. Um, so this doesn't have any effect. All the small arms. Uh, it's a minus five for the artillery. Yes. So he's getting a plus one there. A plus three for the bunker. That's plus four. Minus five takes it down to minus one. And then we've also got that wee minus one for the income and the burst. So it's a minus two. That'll do. In fact, he's in a bunker, I'll take that. So, on a minus two... Ah, that's a pin. That was two pretty decent cards they drew there, are not it? Oh, yeah, well. So, he's pinned as well. So, um... Yeah, pinned under the bunker. Well, it makes it worse for them, but... Would have liked to have got a hit out of one of them. But I think I'll just be planning on calling fire in the last turn on them again. Just to sort of just keep them out of uh, action. I think. Okay. Right, and then I think we're into the ammo step. So I've got a bit to do there. Um, combat effects. Yeah. Update ammo. So for us... Uh, <clears throat> we used an artillery mission, so we're down to two, well, two of the 15th uh, field artillery, and then we used a, another mortar mission, so we've only got one of the ones left. Um, our own uh, weapons are out, our machine guns are out, we didn't fire any bazookas, we didn't fire a mortar, 50 cal's gone, so that's us. Now they still fire. This is the thing about this. See, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have caught this before, because I would have stopped them from firing at all. But they're still firing that heavy machine gun on their card, so they will spend an ammo for the heavy machine gun, so that knocks them down to six. And that is an example in the rules, so it's not something that I'm just making up. <laughs> um, Right, and then the other squad is fine. It's just, just automatic weapons. It's not tracked ammo, so that is fine. Good stuff. Um, that's only 34 minutes. Right, well, clean up. So, and yeah, and there's one other thing that's going to happen here. Uh, so we remove uh, exposed, etc. Right, that's all exposed markers away. I uh, tidied this up a little bit as well. Just got the one strong building marker now. They're all intact. This guy's still firing on his card. Um, evacuate casualties. There's none of them uh, from casualty collection points. Enemies firing at cards without valid targets shift cease fire. So this is now when he stops firing. So that comes away. That comes away. So you can see that he did spend that point of ammo, but now it's come off now anyway because he's nothing to, um, he's nothing to uh, fire at. And the bunker's still facing that way. So again, you know, when he does, if line of sight becomes available to him, he can't suddenly turn around and fire at this because the bunker 
is facing that way, and if he's in the bunker, then that's where he's got to fire. He's got to fire in that direction, maybe not necessarily against that that card, but he's got to fire in that direction. But at the moment, that's where he would fire. Okay, uh, defensive mission, adjust VS, PDFs. Um, well, we still got small arms there, he's still got automatic weapons there. We've got the two incoming markers. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Right, end of turn. We're on to turn 10. Um, yeah, I'm just going to push on here. And uh, let's get this finished. Eh? Yeah. Well, I'll get started anyway. I'll get started because that's only about 35 minutes. If I can get right through to the enemy high HQ event and we can weave that drum roll uh, sitting for a while. <laughs> uh, and see what we get. Okay, well, so friendly higher HQ event. That's where we're at. So let's draw a card. Yeah, let's, let's just not rush. Let's just pause a minute and think about it, Grant. Yeah, I think so. I think all is good. You never know, but I think so. Right, so drawing for a friendly HQ event. We'd get none. I thought what big numbers going away they are. Now we're just about to move into our commands. <laughs> well, let's hope they continue. Um, right, so COHQ, no battalion HQ in the map, so COHQ is here, uh, he can't communicate with 1st Platoon, he can communicate with X, oh! Yeah, I remember talking about that, I remember talking about that a while ago, the fact that that paralysed team was under the foxholes, didn't I? Blunder. No oh, well. All he's wanting to do is, to be honest, send this fire team either here or here in the hope that... But... Well, no, because these are all going to be... Um, third platoon, first platoon and the XO are all going to be acting on their initiative. So I can just do... The, as long as I do the XO first... Oh, this is undercover as well. What are you doing, Grant? Um, right, <laughs> right, well, okay, so COHQ is just playing by himself. He can't activate anybody where he is, he would have to move under one of the cover markers, uh, or, or move on a card adjacent to that, but, what's the more important one, well, you know what, let's just draw for the COHQ first, he's got one command saved, so let's see, um, he's lying, he's not undercover, so it's just unmodified. It's a three, okay, we'll take a three, compared to what we got at the last turn. So he is getting, he's got four. Um, so what's, what's the important things to do? I think I want to just call fire again on both of them, just to keep them out of the game. Um... I'd like to try and retrieve. Yeah. Nah. Nah, I don't want to move my COHQ up there, so. Uh, yeah, there's an assault team up here we want to put back together. Ah, oh, there's an assault team here we want to put, put back together as well. That's first and second platoon. Any of it? None of them have got in and saved. Great. Um, I, think, I think we want to fire, call for fire with the mortar, call for fire with the artillery, try and put that assault team into a squad, try and put that assault team into a squad. Um, move this fire team either into here or here and put it back into the squad. To be honest... That would probably be better doing that. So that kind of... Yeah, hold on. Because if I activate first platoon, it means it's going first. So I think COHQ is going to move up to third platoon. Can he do anything else? No. Well, to be honest, he could order that artillery to fire. Or put that assault team back in, you know, rather than rely on the commands... I wonder if this, when the assault team goes back into the squad, does it still continue firing on its card? 
I'll leave that one there. <laughs> I'm not going to try and mock that one out. Because at the moment, he's still firing on his car. But if I re... No, it's not re-supplement. I think it's just supplement, isn't it? Supplement squad, is it? Keep seeing me forget that one. Supplement squad, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it would continue firing or not. Going by the couple of responses we had recently about how an assault team or fire team joins into a squad or comes away from a squad and doesn't retain any of the information that was there before, I'm I'm going to say no. I think the fire would come away. That's how I'll do it. It's not going to affect things here if I, if I do that. So, so do we do that? Yes, okay, let's do that. So COHQ is going to, and I'm, you know what, I'm just going to use this. He's going to move up here under the strong building. In fact, hold on, hold on, he can actually, he can actually infiltrate again because of that fire. Well, I'm assuming so. So I'll, I'll attempt to infiltrate. Um, and he's wine quality, so it's a two card draw. And this is going to cost me one command. Right, so I've got three left. And remember, this is the last turn, Grant. Right, so attempt. Yeah, just looking at that pin unit again and wondering, but I don't want to go on that card. No, I don't. No, it's fine. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to infiltrate under the strong building cover in that village. That's one, that's two, we fail. So he is moving exposed anyway. Um, so I'm going to use this other strong building counter just to make it easier to track things. So he's he's coming up here under the same cover um, of the strong building, but he is exposed and that's why I'm keeping him separate. He's then going to activate second platoon HQ for one command and that'll activate the platoon HQ. And then he's got two points left. Yeah, he can do both of these things. Right, so he's going to attempt to call for fire with artillery on here. So that's another artillery mission. We've got a three card draw. Uh, sorry, I'm going to spend that point now. I've got one command left. And then... Um, yeah, just wondering. Yeah, okay. So three card draw. Looking for a burst icon. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. So here we go. That's a no. That's a no. That's a yes. That'll do. Excellent. So I'm going to have run out of markers because I've got two of them. I don't know how many there is of these. Right. Oh, there's one there. Yeah, I've got one. Pending fire machine. Yeah. Right, so we get a result there. Move up into the action a little bit. Uh, that's a bit zoom in, Grant. Okay, so... We get our pending fire mission here, again, um, from the artillery. Right, and then with the COHQ's last point, um, now I just started wondering there about supplement a squad. No, it's automatic anyway. It doesn't matter about PD, uh, VOFs. Just wonder if that would have affected it. So I'm going to spend that last command from COHQ. He's got none left. Uh, right, hang on. I was forgetting that the EXO first platoon and the third platoon are all acting on initiative. I haven't marked them with the blue cubes. I'm going to do that now just in case I get dragged away. And uh, the last point is going to be for this assault team to supplement this squad. Uh, yeah, second we're doing it, doesn't really matter. So basically that flips to that. 
That, I think, is just going to go away. And the assault team goes away. I say, I'm not I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it should still be firing the squad now, but it kind of feels like that's probably not the right way of doing it. Right, so that was the COHQ done his thing and was only able to activate second platoon, so we need to draw for second platoon, who is, he's, well, he's away up there as well. That's where, what's he going to do now? Yeah, he's got nothing really to do unless he yeah. unless he tries to do something with the pin unit. You know? It's a bit too risky, isn't it? Really? Why why bother? You know, if we get our general initiative, the pin unit could Move. Well, let's draw. He's, he's undercover, isn't he? He's line quality undercover, and he was activated. So he gets a plus one for this. Yeah, plus one for the big... Oh, he's got six commands, man. <laughs> Is that not going to... Six commands. Surely you've got to try and do something. I mean, and not only that, the COHQ took care of the, the two things that he would have wanted to do anyway, which was call for fire and supplement that squad. <clears throat> I do, hmm. Here's a thought. Hmm. Could mean, again, I, I, sp I th sort of wondered about this in the last part, didn't I? about having the mortar fire at two different targets, call for fire on two different targets. I mean, the artillery fire is called in a fire there. Is there anything to say that if the artillery moved to here, that he couldn't then call for fire on... Ah, he's unspotted, Grant. He's unspotted. So you need to spot him first as well, which uh, is risky. Mind you, he's got the automatic weapons. We've not got the height elevation, though. I want to say that would still probably balance out to a two-card draw. Or, eh, yeah, if you used a veteran, maybe. I don't know. Do we need to do that? Yeah, I just feel it's a waste. We've got six commands. I could go and try a dare and rescue mission. And that could be, I take my third platoon HQ. And I attempt to infiltrate onto this card. Hopefully successfully. Then I try and do something with this guy. Um, I don't know if I can actually just move him while he's pinned. Then, if I've successfully infiltrated, I then move back to the card. Because that's an infiltrate action and then a move action. Yeah, and the whole, yeah, the artillery thing would work, but I wouldn't need to spot the unit, wouldn't I? And that seems more riskier. Uh, well, if you fail the infiltrate, Grant, <laughs> you're in a bit of bother. Yes, you are in a bit of bother. Well, I can exhort it, so we're getting a three, he's lying, so I'm getting a three card draw at it. And there's no point sending something, it's got to be the platoon HQ himself that goes and does this. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'd like some more stuff on this card as well, but if we get good enough result here, mind you, there's other things you want to do. Platoon move onto there, maybe. But then we want to fire a mortar as well. And the, yeah, the danger there is if the mortar fails to fire, this card's going to get fired on. So it does. Well, you fire the mortar first then, Grant. See if it succeeds. Clearly. Uh, do we take a chance for that third, that second platoon? It would be really bad to end up with two platoons coming out of this mission green, though. Because you kind of want to be moving it in the next mission with a couple of them, maybe veteran, never mind line, 
Although, obviously, the first platoon is not going to be that because he's he got knocked down to green, so I can only get him back to line uh, after this mission. Um, is all this really worth... It's just because I've got six commands. Well, we try it. Is there any cover there? No, it's an open field as well. Well, it's only a minus one. Uh, first platoon got a load of commands. We could maybe come up there, spot that guy, and fire some mortar fire on him. Yeah, right. You're not going to have the commands to do that. Okay, I'm, go I'm going to do that. I want a sort of exciting finish, or something to finish with. So... Yeah, so second platoon the HQ is under the strong building here. And he's he's under the same strong building, but he's exposed. But that's not really relevant. Um Right, hang on hang on, before I do this, can I give this an order to move across? It's a paralyzed pinned unit. So, let me see. Yeah, I mean, it's it's fine. He's a pinned unit. He can move to an adjacent car, but only if that car is staging area is friendly occupied with no VOF on it. So, I can give him an action to move. I mean, the, mo the most important part of this action is me actually uh, achieving the infiltrate action, because if that doesn't work, then I'm going to be sitting there myself, <laughs> panicking. I'll probably need to try and seek cover, to be honest. Right, uh, and then it says there, maybe pinned units must drop, pinned units and paralyzed teams must drop any assets or casualties they're carrying before they're able to move to an adjacent card. I want to say he's maybe got some smoke with him, so that would get left behind. That's no biggie. So... See, hang on, hang on, here we go, here we go. Pin units are not able to use visual verbal communication. I, I knew there was something, I knew there was something. That's why I've got to unpin them. They can do it, they can make this move by themselves if they've got a command themselves, obviously under general initiative, but I can't command him to move, I can't give him an order to move while he's pinned. So that then means that that's six commands. We need to calculate this carefully then. So one, two to unpin them, three to send them back across, and four to get ourselves back across. Five, six to maybe bring them... Uh, five, six, we'd bring them back to a fire team, wouldn't it? Um, well, general initiative puts the fire team back into the squad. That would be a nice way to finish. We're going to do it. Okay, let's do it. Let's be daring. Right, so we're going to spend one command. Third platoon, uh, sorry, second platoon HQ is going to move across here, attempting to infiltrate this car, this open fields. Oh, we might need an extra command for um, Exhort, but we were fine. Although that would then maybe mean he's not put back into the squad. We'll see though, this because we need we need to um infiltrate. If we don't infiltrate, we're gonna look kinda silly here. So he's gonna attempt to infiltrate, his line quality gets two card draw, and we do have the option to exhort. So two cards. Looking for the silhouettes. This is a big one. Uh give me a second, hang on. Right, okay, this is a big one. Two cards. Um, yeah, here we go. Come on, come on. No, 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 come on. Oh, no. Right, I've got to exhort then, so one more command. Put these away. This is going to backfire. Isn't it? It's going to go wrong. Right, so one more card. Here we go. And oh, that's a no. Yeah, did he? Honestly. Why? Why? Why bother? So second platoon XQ is in this open field on his own. And the thing is, I've only got four commands left. 
So unpin him, send him back. That's two commands. Seat cover, that's three commands. Well, I suppose I'm as well doing that. Thing is, me, this paralyzed team's not gonna be any good now anyway, is it? Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't send the paralyzed team to there, send it to here. Uh, however, un unpin arms a card draw, Grant, <laughs> because. Uh, hang on. Yeah, we must be able to unpin them. Um. What am I looking for here? Attempt to remove a pin marker. Yeah, yeah. It's all if no view left. Yeah, we just can't give him any orders. But we can attempt to unpin him. Yeah. So, what have we got F4? Unpin him. Then if that succeeds, give him a move. We could exhort that as well. So let's say we have to exhort. So that'd be one, two, three, and then search for cover. Because, yeah, we're in the open fields. <sighs> Ah, the word covers on top of the discard pile. <laughs> so that means I'm going to try and rally first, I think. Right, so I'm going to use one command to try and unpin this guy. So we're going to try and rally that guy. Um, now it's the... It's the originator's experience. So that's good, yeah. It's not the recipient. Attempt to remove a pin marker. So we're going to get this line... I'm going to get two card draw, looking for the word rally. Here we go. Yes. And that would not have got us the cover, because we only get two cards drawn for the cover. So we've got the rally, we've got that pin marker off him. Um, we're now going to use a command, now he's going to drop that. Eh, no, he's not pinned anymore, Grant. Was it only ah, he's paralyzed though, so he will drop it. It was pinned and paralyzed teams. So I'm going to give him an order. That's going to cost me one more to attempt to infiltrate. Do I want to really do that? It's going to draw an extra card. Well, we never drew a cover there. Well, hang on, hang on. We, yeah, can't even infiltrate. This is a paralyzed unit, Grant. Paralyzed team, move to an adjacent card. Yeah, he can't infiltrate. Yeah, we looked at this already. Yeah. So we can move him, though. So we move him down to here, under this cover marker. But he's exposed. Did I spend the command for that? Uh, don't think so. I'm sure I've got two left. I think it was, well, hang on, I had six. One to attempt to infiltrate, one for the exhort is two. One to um, unpin the guys, three. One to move the guys, four. Yeah, I do have two left. Oh, so I can seek cover and exhort it. Yeah, so that works. So I'm going to spend one more now to try and find cover here. It's a two-card draw, although I will be able to draw an extra card if I spend that last command. So, looking for the word cover. That's a no. That's a no. Right, let's exhort it. Let's spend that last command to get an exhort. And that's not good. <laughs> okay, so he's in trouble. He's getting all of my weapons on him. Nah, that was a shame. Yeah, that's that's really bad, Grant. He's got he's exposed, he's got minus three. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> right, well the first the first platoon come and rescue him. Well, the rescue attempt can only be platoon move up or platoon infiltrate, maybe if you, if it matters. 
and then try and support that guy and then try and call for fire with the mortar. But I also kind of want a mortar fire on that. <gasps> I've only got one mortar fire mission left. Well, we've got the, the HE one. Can I not use that? Because does that not just do the same thing? It stops him looking out. And to be honest, it gives... No, it gives a minus three according to this. Yeah, look at the mission again for that. Um, what am I looking for? Uh, attachments, yeah. Motor, yeah, it says the HE and the WP are both minus three for the motor. Okay. Um, well, to be honest, it, it's going to depend on... I mean, the likelihood of first platoon drawing something that's going to be on a load of commands, I'd need to draw... A, well, this is a small number as well. What's the biggest one you can get? I think it's a four, isn't it? And we're green, but we're undercover, so it's not modified. That's a plus, I suppose. Yeah. Why did I do this? Why did I do this? My HQ's going to get destroyed, isn't he? Yep. He is. Because he's, go he's going to be drawn on a minus three. So he's, the best he can hope for is a pin. And that's, so you've got to be real lucky, I think. Right, anyway, Grant, which, there's nothing more you can do there. So, so I've got XO, first platoon, third platoon. Uh, how am I an hour? Is that me at an hour? Oh, yeah, because I just carried on, didn't I? Um, should I just wait then? Um, to be honest, just pour myself a beer. So, <laughs> um, yeah, let's push on. I've not had a, I've been keeping them to under an hour recently, but I don't mind stretching it to an hour and a half. So let's see if I because. It would be good to leave the last half and then the sort of end the mission stuff to come. So right, let's let's push on. Well what third platoon's here, first platoon's here, XO's here. I was wanting the XO first, I think, to be able to um I don't I don't know though. Yeah, let's, let's do the XO first, because he might have enough command. He might be able to get something. So I'm going to activate the XO. This is initiative activation. So it's a small number, and he is... Oh, he's undercover. So he gets a plus one to this. Okay, that's good. A plus one to the small number, and it's... Of course it's a one. Jesus. Uh, so he gets two. Hmm. Right, well. Yeah, you can't do nothing with that then. That's rubbish. I wanted three or one. Two is no good to me. Is it? No. Because I need to send the fire team across and then I would have to go across myself and then I'm out of commands. So, the thing is, let, let's, just, let's just see if it's feasible for First Platoon to do anything here, right? He's got no safe commands. Um, just, I'm going to glance at the discard pile just to see the small number. And hang on, hang on, is he undercover? Yes. Um, but he's green, so he gets a plus one match. So it's not, not modified. There's a three, a three, a three, a three. There is a four. There is a couple of fours. But by the way, this is, I'm looking through the discard pile here. So <laughs> that means they're not in the deck. So we might want a reshuffle or something before. So we might want to let third platoon go first. Um, 
Right, let's just say he gets, you can't say he's going to get a four, Grant. Let's say he gets a three. That's not any good. Because I've got to go spot, I've got to take the mortar, so I'd have to move the mortar, one, join it with the first platoon HQ, two, give the mortar an action to spot because I'm green. <laughs> the, sorry, the platoon HQ is green. Give the mortar an action to spot. We get a success, that's three, and then call for fire, that's four. And that's you getting the most commands that's feasibly possible from an initiative draw. It's not going to happen, Grant. Forget it. Your, your second platoon HQ's toast. You can't save them. You're better... Uh, yeah, that was a rubbish draw for the XO. I was hoping the XO could go and put that squad together, that fire team back in. But you can't. Not with two. With three commands, yes. So, right, the XO is going to spend one of his two commands and probably just have to save the other one. To send this. Oh, well, wait there now. Hang on. He could turn it in an assault team, Grant. So, okay, that doesn't do anything. No, it doesn't, because it's going to be green at the end of the mission as well. It needs to be able to put, be put back. So I think it's probably better sending it up here. If first platoon gets two commands, he can supplement that and then this other one into two of his squads. What is this? Oh, that's a paralyzed team. Oh, okay, yeah, that was the hope of doing something with like that. Yeah, that's asking maybe too much of first platoon then, Grant, if you've got that paralyzed team there. But the thing is, third platoon's headquarters is here with a full squad, so it's going to have to move down here. Well, if it gets a draw of two, it can move down and put the fire team back in. Right, you know what? I'll, I will switch it to an assault team. And then I'll send it across here. For the other command. And that's, that's the XO's two commands. Done. Okay. Right, we've got first and third. And we're giving up on trying to save the second platoon HQ. Oh, you could try and look for cover again, actually. With general initiative. See, that's the thing, you've got general initiative as well. If we get a big number with that. Right, let's, um, no, and you know what, I'm going to do third platoon first. And if I happen to get a reshuffle, I might think about trying something wild. Okay, so the third platoon is wine, but this is a small number. No modifications to the small number. Let's see what we get. Ah, uh, two. Uh, well, actually, I wanted at least I wanted a two, so that's that's good. Actually, I wasn't thinking there. So we've got two. So he moves down here. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Sorry, I didn't realize this was all under cover. So this guy would have moved across under the cover, right? So he 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 has attack. He's he's under the cover, but he's exposed. Right, and then this guy is going to move down under the cover as well, exposed. So they're all under the same cover marker, exposed. That's him spent one command. And then for his last command, he's going to um, put that assault team back into that squad. He's going to supplement that. And here's a case where we had an assault team that was exposed, supplementing... 
a two-step unit to become a three-step unit and like Andrew has told us, it does not now become exposed. So, there's one for you. Um, and this guy's just sitting here himself, and that's fine. Okay. Right, so first first platoon now. A small number, we didn't get a reshuffle there or anything like that, so... Yeah. Let's just see what he gets. Uh, he's undercover, but he's green, so no modifications. Small number. He's got a two, which is not great. Well, we can put that back, and then what is he going to be able to do with that? Paralyzed to alert our team. Yeah, I was, I was never going to have them the commands, was I? Uh, well, you never know general initiative, because, well, I don't know if that's worthwhile. So I'm going to use one of the commands to supplement the squad from that assault team. Yeah, I'm leaving. I'm not, I'm not putting anything... Um, I've got one command left. I'm really not in force, um, like, putting any units up here, am I? So, <laughs> this guy's here on his own. <gasps> Stop, Grant. I forgot, I need to fire my mortar. Take that back. Yeah, I, I do. Yeah, no, I do. I do. I really do. Um, let's turn that over again. I forgot. It's easy to forget these things. Right, I'll need that command back. We've got two commands. Yeah, because we need to call for fire on this guy again away up here. Because he's then going to fire on this, and if he happens to take it out, this is our primary objective. I mean, the, the other way is maybe platoon move up there to make sure we've got something on it. <sighs> Sounds kind of risky. Yeah, I suppose that, that's got its pluses and minuses, in it? Because, I mean, I'm not, I'm not guaranteed to get the mortar success. got two commands. If I do that, I could also exhort. Actually, and to be honest, if I do get it, I can still supplement the squad because I do have two commands, don't know. I think I was, I was also going to use a command to, like, put that back to our team, but that does nothing anyway. Well, unless you get a huge general initiative draw, but we've already said the best you can get out of that is a four, and that's, like... One in a, once in a blue moon, maybe, you know. Right, I'm going to call for fire then, are we up there? Um, so, it's a three card draw, it's a mortar, call for fire, which is going to be a minus three. Uh, but it's really about um, just stopping them firing out the card. So, three cards, looking for the burst icon. That's a no, that's a yes. Ooh, yeah, that's a double yes, but... No short, that's the thing. So, yeah, now I'm going to struggle to find another. Don't know how many there is. I've got, I've got a pen and airstrike, but that's a different thing. I don't think you're limited by these, though. I think if you run out, I don't. It's not something I feel. Right, give me a sec to try and find one. Right, okay, got one. So, again, we've got an incoming and a. Pending fire mission up here. That's mortar fire from here. Um, so that was successful. I didn't use the command for that, but there you go. So done. And we did have one. We did have one mission left. Yeah, we did. With mortar. That's fine. So and then the other command I'm just going to use and supplement that squad. With the assault team. So I can still do that. It's just I will, I'll, I'm not able to do anything with that. So that's fine. So good, that, well that worked out alright, just the bad bit that didn't work out right was here. 
Right, so that's us. Right, with no command saved. However, this is the last turn. So, that's fine. That works out well. However, we're third platoon, our second platoon in HQ is in a spot of bother. Right, we're going to draw for general initiative and he might be able to go looking for cover again. So, here we go. Unmodified, it's just a one. So, I'm assuming that's what we do. There's nothing else. Is that the CO HQ? That is, isn't it? He's in the same build, and yeah, there's nothing to put together. We've done all the putting together we can do. There was this assault team here, but it would need to come down and then join up. But that's only slight worry is that we've all, we've not got enough of what on our primary objective here. We've got enough. Well, I want to say we have. That's an assault team. Now, did I ever look at that? Well, what's the definition of page 7? Page 8 it is. Just, I'm not going to come down to the rule book. I'm just going to read that. Occ unoccupied, right. An occupied terrain card is one with at least one unit on the card. Regardless of the presence of PC markers, just one unit it says. So I think I was right in when I said earlier about a unit can be. I don't think a unit has to be a good. I mean, it would say good order unit, wouldn't it? So, you know, it would surely say that a lot wouldn't count. Yeah, I mean, come on, this is a... Ignore any casualties or VIF markers on the card when determining if the cards are unoccupied or cleared. Yeah, this is a... This is a redone rule book. This is not going to mess about. Uh, hang on. The entry before that is limited action team. These are generic units created by commands. The result, as the name suggests. These are generic units. So they're units, though. Yeah. An occupied terrain card is one with at least one unit on the card. Depending on the unit present, the card can be friendly occupied, enemy occupied, or jointly occupied. Yeah. So I'm I'm happy for an assault team to be controlling that and uh well we've got a bunch on there anyway. Right, uh I drew a one for general initiative. Okay, so we're gonna just we're going to just seek cover here again then. Give them a slight chance, maybe. So, we're allowed to do that. I know we've done it already, but this is a different phase, a different impulse. So, unfortunately, we didn't get the two initiatives to be able to exhort again. So, it's just a two-card draw. Um, looking for the word cover. Here we go. No. Yes. Yes. Right. He's in my chance. Well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> so he's found a spot of cover. The only spot of cover in the open fields. This one little bush he's hiding behind or something. A rock he's hiding under. Uh, right. That's it. Initiative over. Right, I'm going to take a break now. Um, but I'm hoping to come back and finish this with one more part because it's just going to be the enemy activity phase. Uh, well, the enemy high HQ event could change that, obviously, if we happen to get really unlucky and get the counter-attack. Um, but if we don't get that, I think we can breeze through it pretty quickly and then sort out our experience and etc. And uh, yeah be all good so I'll put my phase marker on that and I'm gonna go and get something to eat and I'll be back in a bit okay cheers <laughs>